guys welcome to another installment of limp sync tips and tricks today we're going to go over some ways that you can sound much better on your joints and um, for those of you who are not familiar with my tnt series it's limp sync tips and tricks um, and you can find all of them i think i have like 20 or more now um, on my youtube i do not monetize my youtube it's just for fun it's kind of like a digital scrapbook. In this case, it's um, educational. Um, and I'm not affiliated with Smool in any way. So thanks for stopping by. So yeah, today we're gonna talk about some general tips for sounding much better on your joins. Um, and I was inspired by a few of those joins <laughs> from earlier this week. Uh, so today we're gonna pretty much talk about six different tips um, and the first, um, these, so these are just simple things that you can do. The first one is your volume, okay? Um, you know, we all know that volume can be a, a big challenge on small. And sometimes, in fact, um, the, the volume that you think that you're setting um, can be slightly off um, pre-production or pre-publish, um, and then it comes out um, too loud. But... The real problem, <laughs> the real problem is, um, at least among a lot of joiners, and I would even argue most joiners, and especially um, uh, relative uh, beginners um, or newbies, um, or even uh, people who are uh, kind of at mid-level, is they're not aware of their hard volume setting. And when I say hard volume, I'm talking about the side of the phone. So on the side of the phone, of course, you've got your volume uh, for your phone. And so sometimes a lot of you guys might be wondering, hey, I don't know what, what's going on. Sometimes it's too loud, sometimes it's too soft. So, I mean, I've learned over the years just from, you know, blood, sweat, and tears um, that I always check my hard volume, okay, first. In other words, I don't adjust my, my soft volume, the volume on, in the small, um, on the app after my um, after my song my OC or whatever I don't adjust that until I verify that I'm still on the same setting on the hard setting on the side of my phone that way we're not doing like multivariable calculus you know we're not adjusting two variables at the same time and and not even knowing that there's a second variable right okay so that's volume okay but but before we get off on um, on that topic on the first of these six um you really want to make sure that you're matching the volume of the person you're joining. There's much, nothing worse <laughs> than, like, at least for people who are putting out OCs, and I'm sure you're the same um, if you're VIP or whatever. Um, there's, there's nothing worse than, you know, receiving a join that is way too loud, okay? That really drowns you out. And, of course, you, don't, you shouldn't want that either. Um, you know, we should be on the, on the same, um, on the same level, uh, as far as volume, you don't want to drown out the person that you're joining. Okay. So, um, this is a really important one. So we're moving on to number two, this one I call sound or audio environment. So when you're joining someone besides volume, what's something else that's really important that's related to audio. It's the audio effects, right? It's the audio effects. So let's say, um, you join me and I'm in, yeah, and I've done whole vid videos, TNT videos on just these topics, like audio effects. Um, um, and you can check those out if you're interested, or you can ask me um, how to find those um, on my YouTube. But basically, you want to try to match the, the, the sound environment or the audio environment, in other words, the audio effects, as best as you can. So that, why? Why? <laughs> yes, artists, we tend to be rebels. That's true. Even me, okay? Um, but there, there's, um, there's, in a sense, a science to the art, too. So you want to sound like you're singing in the same room or in the same audio environment as the person who you're joining, okay? Um, that's important. It's important out of respect. It's important for the quality of the art. And so that you don't sound like an alien or two aliens from different galaxies <laughs> um or you know that you're fighting each other you're, you're dueling each other it should be you know there should be a sense of unity okay um 
And, you know, like if you go into most of the settings, for example, studio, sound, uh, super studio, you'll see things like, you know, reverb character and, um, and, 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 uh, reverb am amount. Okay. So those correspond roughly to, um, uh, what used to be called, uh, just reverb in general on the legacy version before our styles and room size. But here's the thing, 99.9% .9 of people have not figured out. I was able to figure out that they switched those. Yes, Smule, Smule switched those. I don't know if it's by mistake or what. Um, I have reached out to them like six months ago because um, that can confuse the user, uh, the user base. Okay, so... Um, and if you need help on that, just let me know, okay? But basically, the character um, is now first, and then it's a mount, okay? Um, uh, but character is kind of course, corresponds to what used to be like, uh, uh, let's see, room, yeah, it represents the, the former room size, okay? So keep that in mind. And the whole concept of arena, et cetera, okay? All right. Tip number three is really important as well. It's a miscellaneous etiquette tip, okay? Um, if the person you're joining, okay, makes a compliment to you, just does a public comment like, hey, great job. Um, I, I really like how you, um, how you hit the highs or whatever. You know, there's a million ways to compliment someone. Don't just reply, thank you, and then walk away. <laughs> like, sometimes I want to say, oh, yeah, just send me the bill. Yeah, just send me the bill. You know, like, you're not doing me a big favor. <laughs> and what I, what I mean me, it's, of course, the person you're joining, okay? So in this case, what's the solution? The solution is, is obvious, okay? Um, because if you just say thank you, it makes you look like an ass, to be honest, but there's this better way to do it that's more positive. So um, instead, what you should be doing is compliment, complimenting the person back. Okay, this is that old story, that old lesson that we learned from our parents. Um, and um, yeah, so just try to say something nice. Try to find some redeeming quality in the other person's join. Trust me, I've been through a all of these horrible joins, but I always find a way to say something honest. Yeah. I think 90% of them are honest. Okay, but almost always, okay? All right, so we're running low on time, so we're halfway through these. So, guys, number four out of these six is try to match the emo. A lot of you guys will join me on high emo songs where the lyrics are really emotional and the, and the tune itself is very emotional, but you join like this. Like, like you're playing poker. This is an expressive art. When you show expression, you don't look weak. You don't look gay, unless you're, you know, super flamboyant or whatever. And if you are, that's fine. But like, in general, don't join, don't, don't join like a robot. You know, now a lot of us, you know, have been hurt along the way and that's okay and I understand. And we're all in different stages of healing. But try to express yourself and try to match the emo because I'm great at interpreting the emo, personally, of a song. And I'm an emo performer, um, in a sense. A video performer and, and emo is very important. Why? Because when we express ourselves that way, um, you feel fulfilled. You feel great. I always say singing is exercise for the soul. So to, in order to maximize the use of the small gym, okay, you want to not be so robotic and not, be, not look so dead inside. And to be honest, you kind of look foolish and, and it makes the, um, the join look like a joke. Okay. So, um, that's a way to get more out of it. Number five, try to match the rhythm and the timing better. I, I have the whole videos on that where I use the limp sync method where I match to another device. Okay. With another set of headphones, one from one and into one phone and another head part of the headset into the other. But that's called the limp sync method. We talk about that later. Try to add some vibrato, um, but not too much. A lot of you do the whole opera thing. Cut that down, okay? Um, but if there's anything else you want me to talk about, hit me up in the public comments or private. Hope I've helped some of you.